Believe it or not, at one time, I owned a motorcycle. It was pretty crappy. It was a Honda CB450, not that you care. And uh, as soon as I got it, I wrecked it. Well, I mean, I fell. Uh, and I had to fix some things, and then it wasn't working, and then it had a bad starter, and I had a friend's dad look at it. And I spent initially $500 on that motorcycle, but in the long run, in fixing it, I spent like $1,500, and it still didn't work, and then I broke it. So today's lesson, don't buy a motorcycle. Okay, so what, what does a motorcycle have to do with 3PL versus drop shipping for your SMB? Well, first off, let's quickly cover what a 3PL is. 3PL stands for third party logistics. And what that means is it is a third party, not your business, that offers uh, a variety of services, whether it's just warehousing, um, it could be packaging, shipping. Essentially, they have your stock, your materials, your products that you're selling to customers so that when you get an order, you let them know and they ship it off. Some 3PLs even offer types of kitting or some light assembly, so if you have a product that needs some pieces and components put together, they can even do that part of it. Drop shipping is similar to 3PL, but it typically involves the manufacturer or provider of a certain product, and they offer the same thing where they will ship out once you've sent an order from one of your customers from their warehouse, there's usually not kidding or assembly involved, and it's just the products that they are offering of their own make. Not always, but typically. Another quick difference between a 3PL and a drop shipper is 3PL has your stuff. Even if they're acquiring it from a vendor, it really is dedicated towards you and it's yours. Whereas a drop shipper, it more often than not, is their goods, their products, and you're tapping into that service. So if they run into a stock issue or they are running behind in production, it's going to affect you because there's lots of other people that are using their service to sell to their customers, not your customers. All right, so there are obviously those are some of the differences between 3PL and drop shipping. Now, when it comes to your company, how can you use those to your benefit? Well, if you're not wanting to deal with startup costs of having your own warehouse or some of the equipment involved, some of the rental costs, the licensing, the insurance, et cetera, just costs in general, then maybe drop shipping or 3PL is the right fit for you. Even large companies make use of these types of services, but it all comes down to costs. So what the 3PL could do for you is provide a space and a service for your products that are then promptly shipped out. And they also typically deal with any returns or other product or inventory issues because while well, you're not keeping or holding on to any of the inventory, you are the third party through which your customers interact and then you send that off. And it's similar with drop shipping, where drop shipping they also deal with returns or any other inventory problems, but it is their own inventory. You're kind of selling goods for them and letting them know. The point of these services is to save you time and money and some of the hassle of, of upkeep, maintenance, cost, etc. And so you have to weigh out for yourself, is it worth it to have someone else manage the warehouse, the inventory, etc. or do you take that burden on yourself, but also allow yourself to have more control? And then you can keep things small and controlled and probably even cut down some of your own costs because you are going to pay a premium for these types of services more often than not. So let's go back to the motorcycle. It's kind of like, really, I just wanted a motorcycle for a little bit and I should have just, I don't know, maybe rented one or leased one and then given it back. I wasn't interested in maintaining and owning a motorcycle. I just thought I could get some attention from girls, but really, I just got more attention from the bros. So, what kind of business do you want? Do you want an actual business and managing the inventory and having control over the warehouse and your costs and dealing with all of that, which is fine? Or are you just trying to sell a few things and make a few more bucks? Then maybe 3PL drop shipping might be for you. I'm James, this is Wiper Wednesday.